I'm going to show you how to use Mathematica to solve this problem. We want to find the equation of the tangent line to the graph of x squared plus y squared equals 1 when x equals 1 half. The first thing we need to do is find what the corresponding value of y is. So what I'm going to do is I want to solve the equation x squared, uh, sorry not x squared, I want to solve the equation 1 half squared because x is 1 half. I'm just plugging it into the equation plus y squared equals equals 1. You have to have the equals equals. I'm going to solve that for y. And I get two solutions. I get minus square root of 3 over 2 and positive square root of 3 over 2. So what that means is that there are two points on the graph of x squared plus y squared equals 1. This is the unit circle. There are two points on that graph with uh, x value of 1 half. So I'm going to have two answers. There's actually two tangent lines corresponding uh, for when x equals 1 half. So I'm going to concentrate on the y equals square root of 3 over 2 part right now. If you wanted a numerical answer, you would put n solve, and then I would numerically solve it. But I'm just going to go with uh, solve. Okay, so I have the point 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2, and I want to find the equation of the tangent line. In order to do that, I need to find what dy dx is because the derivative of y with respect to x is the slope of the tangent line. So I need to differentiate uh, this uh, equation. And I'm going to use implicit differentiation. And the way you do that in Mathematica is you do this. You write d for derivative. So it's d bracket and then x squared plus, whoops, not there, uh, plus, uh, plus y squared, but not y squared, but y bracket x. y is a function of x. It's, this is what implicit uh, differentiation means. We're implicitly assuming y is a function of x. So it's y bracket x squared uh, equals equals 1. And I want to differentiate that with respect to x. And then I hit shift return. And there it's performed the differentiation for me. This is the implicit differentiation. It's 2y y prime plus 2x equals 0. Now, now what I want to do is I want to solve this equation right here. I want to solve that for y prime. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to write solve. Oops, this is in the wrong spot. So I'm going to wrap this derivative command inside a solve command. So I'm going to solve this equation. This is the implicit differenti uh, differentiation equation. I'm going to solve that equation for y prime. So I just write y prime x. And there I get that y prime of x equals minus x over y of x which in, in our notation we would just write is equal to minus x over y. Now if I want to find what y prime is for when x is 1 half and y is square root of 3 over 2, then I can do this. I can use this replace all command. This is the forward slash period. And I'm going to, you, you do this, replace all. Uh, it's uh, replace all and then, and then uh, braces x is going to be the value square root of two, uh, 1 half, sorry. x is 1 half, and then comma, and then y bracket x, it's y of x, don't write y, it's y bracket x, is going to be the value of square root of 3 over 2. Then I close the brace, and then I hit shift return. And there it tells me that y prime at 1 half is equal to minus 1 over square root of 3. And so now I can find the equation of the tangent line because I know it's going to have the form y equals mx plus b. And so the, the y value is, is square root of 3 over 2. So I'm going to solve uh, uh, square root of 3 over 2 equals equals y prime, which is um, going to be minus 1 over square root of 3 times, so times 1 half plus b. I need to find what b is. And I want to solve this for b. And so now I have my equation of the tangent line. My equation of the tangent line is y equals minus 1 over square root of 3x plus 2 over square root of 3. And I can verify all this by, um, by plotting uh, these, these equations. I can go contour plot. Actually, I'll use a freeform input. I'm going to plot a list of functions. So I'm going to plot x squared plus y squared 
equals one, and then y equals mx plus b, m is minus one over square root of three. So y equals minus one over square root of three times x, and then plus two over square root of three. And then close the brace. And then I'm just gonna hit return. And the first time you make the call to Wolfram Alpha, it takes a little bit of time. And there we see that we do in, indeed have the tangent line, the equation of the tangent line for one x equals uh, one half. Uh, I like to always have axes on my on my graphs, so I'm just going to uh, do this right here. And this value right here, I can uh, I can double click and and get the the get coordinates tool. And we'll see right here that this is corresponding to x equals one half. So this is the equation of the tangent line. Using Mathematica is very easy to solve these uh, these problems, the implicit differentiation problems. The key is to use this command right here. Just put d and then type in the equation. But when you type in the equation, you have to put uh, sorry this command right here. When you when you type in the equation, you have to put y bracket x. Don't just leave it as y, otherwise it's, this isn't going to work. And when you, if you're going to do this uh, replace all command right here, you have to put y bracket x again. It's not y. y isn't square root of 3 over 2. y of x is square root of 3 over 2. And this makes it easy to find what y prime is for a particular value of x and y.